I'm terrifically overdressed. <laughs> Hallo zusammen bei die Filmfabrik. Ich bin nicht in meiner Filmfabrik, sondern äh, habe mich auf den Weg gemacht nach Berlin zur Europapremiere von Chroniken der Unterwelt, City of Bones. Und da war ich eben nicht nur bei der Premiere, sondern ich habe auch Lily Collins getroffen und den ganzen Cast war sogar Currywurst essen mit Kevin Sieges und Robert Sheehan. Aber vorher habe ich mich mit Harrods Ward getroffen, dem Regisseur. Ich habe den Film ja schon gesehen und möchte unbedingt auch in Teil 2 dabei sein und deswegen werde ich jetzt versuchen, den äh, Harold, den Regisseur des Films, äh, dazu zu bringen und ein bisschen Casting zu machen, aber euch auch zu erklären, was macht so ein Regisseur eigentlich? Also deswegen, äh, hello Harold, nice to meet you. Uh, you are the director of uh, City of Bones and um, for the first thing I want to be in the part two, because you will be the director for uh, the second part. Yeah. Uh, you're shooting in September in Canada, so uh, I would love to be part uh, of uh, the second movie. So what I have to do to be in your movie? What did you have in mind? Um, uh... Okay, I'm, I'm not looking like uh, Lily Collins, so I'm not the stuntman for her. And blonde hair, I don't know. <laughs> what are the, um, the things you, you are, for you are important for actors? Uh, well, seriously, uh, obviously uh, actors uh, need to be able to to reach the depth of themselves and, and not be too self-conscious, I think, is one of the more important things. Um, I think you could maybe be a, a werewolf. Uh, maybe it's just because of your beard, <laughs> or maybe you could be a vampire. So you don't need uh, more of mask or something uh, like that? We, we could put some contact lenses in you and give you some teeth and things like that. Or do you have any fighting experience, for instance? Uh, I play tennis and wear athletic, but... Uh, mm. Tennis is not very bad, not a very bad air sport. Um, but I have to, I have to two months to to, to, to to come and training. Yes, you do. Yeah, you can come and train, and uh, we can see how you work after. We'll see how far in the background we'll end up putting you then. <laughs> a lot of the people outside don't really know what what are you doing. So what would you tell me now? Well, it's funny because uh, uh, sometimes I don't really even know myself what I'm doing. <laughs> so, and, and when you come on the set, you don't really, you, you see everybody working, but the director doesn't do anything. So it's, I, I understand the question. That's a part in Argo, if, if, you, if you watch the yes. movie, so a uh, director everyone can be. Yes, that's exactly right. You could almost surf your way through a movie just if you just have the right elements, the chair and maybe some cool sunglasses, and you can fool enough people to think that you're a director. Um, because, you know, the camera guys take care of the pictures and the actors, if they're great actors, they'll do the bit as well. I think the, the important bit is always to give the actors a reason why they're in the scene. So they know what their goal is at the end of the scene. They understand the emotional subtext. You have to somehow try to speak to the actor to steer them in the right direction, to have them find something inside themselves, which they can relate to emotionally. And then you can either tell them to hide it more or increase it more or, you know, it's, it's, it's more fine tuning than just broad directing. You know, you say, go over there, do this, this that. that's the first step. And you rehearse a lot and then it slowly starts forming itself and then you just do little adjustments. YouTube is getting more and more and more popular. Yeah. Uh, what kind of connection do you have to, to YouTube? Uh, YouTube is a, is a hugely important um, medium because uh, it's like looking up into a library and you can find all kinds of references i mean in in our movie you go through anything that uh, art movies any small tiny music videos that somebody might have made in a corner of uh, the other side of the world and you find a look or a camera uh, effect or something so i think youtube is like you you have the whole world of references in front of you could you imagine to, to, to produce movies for YouTube? Not, of course, not a full-length movie, but uh, short clips and comedy style to, to be creative, to do anything uh, on YouTube? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, when I, uh, I've done lots of commercials uh, and sometimes we do a version of the commercial that's become very popular to say viral these days. Uh, and and what's, what is a little disappointing is that as soon as you start mentioning that it's going to be viral, Everybody thinks, oh, then we can cut the budget 10 times, which is a shame uh, because you still have to have the good idea, you still have to make it look good. And of course, you can't, can't plan a viral spot because a viral spot is getting viral because it doesn't want to be viral. Right. Exactly, that's exactly right. It's like people setting out to make a commercial movie. <laughs> I'm going, how do you know? <laughs> do you know Honest Trailers? Um, this is a... The 
Honest trailers. Uh, they they do uh, parodies of trailers for of uh, movies. Could you laugh about your your own stuff if they do a very very great comedy thing out of it? Absolutely. I I mean. Uh, One of the first things I ever did ended up becoming one of those mad magazine parodies. And I thought that was a huge honor. It just means that people have at least noticed your work. I could absolutely laugh at that. So please, make, a, <laughs> make an honest trailer about our movie. Uh, this is great to know because we have a German, uh, German YouTube uh, channels. Uh, for example, YTT or Apecram, you will not know them, but it's okay. So uh, would you please uh, say, uh, please make a, make a parody of, of, of our movie? Yes, please, out there. Feel free to make a parody of our movie. I would love to see what you can do with it. And maybe even some of your ideas will end up in the future movies. Oh, this is great. This is uh, so... Leute, YTT Jungs, Phil, Phil, TC, uh, OG, wir müssen da jetzt was machen. Ne? Ihr seid jetzt aufgefordert, uh, mitzukommen. Thank you very much. No, Good luck for, uh, for today. Thank you very much. Und uh, Leute, noch einmal um, da draußen. Ihr könnt jetzt machen mit City of Bones, was ihr wollt. Wir schicken alles an Harold. Er will sehen eure Parodien zu City of Bones. Ist der Kelch, Jussi. Wieso kann ich dich sehen und andere genau nicht? Genau das wollte ich dich auch fragen. Ich weiß gar nicht, wieso ich mit dir rede. Du bist ein Killer, ein eiskalter Killer. Im Gegensatz zu einem warmherzigen Killer? Ich weiß, was ich gesehen habe. Du glaubst, es zu wissen. Warum zeige ich nicht das? Also hatte ich recht, du bist keine Mundi. Wie bitte? Was ist eine Mundi? Jemand aus der Menschenwelt. Wenn ich kein Mensch bin, was bin ich dann? Mal sehen, ob es dann mit der Rolle für den zweiten Teil endgültig klappt. Spielt aber keine Rolle. Wir hatten Hunger, also ab Currywurst essen. Hey, how are you? Yes. So, wir sind jetzt mal raus aus dem Hotel. Ich möchte mich jetzt auch den Jungs hier äh, was zeigen. Kennen? Hi. Hello there, guten Tag. Yeah. Oh, oh, guten very, Tag, very, very yeah. German. There you go. So, uh, the first German uh, words, and now we're getting some uh, German food at a very, very famous place. It's Czech Von Charlie, it's a former border of the DDR and the BRD. Nice. You know? So, yeah. this is political German grub we're having. T t totally, and there we're gonna eat some currywurst, you know? Yeah! We'll eat anything. <laughs> I actually had currywurst in Los Angeles Re recently in an extreme so you, German so restaurant. Really? So, we're now in the, yeah. the original. Berlin one. So okay, come let's on, go. let's go. All right. This is a historical park, but we are having some fun with currywurst. Okay, but right. uh, this is a very, very famous place. If you have time, because you are an actor, you have always time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we have far too much time. He just got right. off. So where we have to go to currywurst? We have to go over there. Um, it's in the Ampel. We have uh, no traffic lights, so we just have the, the put on the wrist button. I always. I'm Risto. Yes, you're Very good. Yeah, Risto. So we have we have now no curvos. The, the, the guy has no curvos. But but we have bratwurst. Yeah, you know yeah, bratwurst. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do do you know something else from from Germany? Do you eat something from Germany? I'm, my family's all Dutch. Yeah. So a lot of Dutch food is sort of like German. So food. very very cheese family. Very, very cheese. Very fat family to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> You're you, your own actor, so you have to, you can play oh, see, that is like very tasty. On it. So just, just try it. Just just it. Wait, look, I'll share Kevin's, because I've just eaten. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And now, now you're uh, honest, Bingo? It's okay? I'm going to have another piece. So yes. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't have another, would I? So we just keep rolling uh, the whole sausage, mm. and that's it. And that's the end of the show. <laughs> yeah. You want some, some kind of that for, for your catering? We're not allowed to eat yet. Yeah? Yeah, this is, against, not this is against shadow hunter rules. Oh, you have okay. to look all sexy and trim. <laughs> you have to work out all the time. Sausage is against the regime. Do you, do you know anything about YouTube? You know, YouTube YouTube channels like Smosh or uh, Lonely Island or something like well, that? You, you know, can we be are, honest. We are from planet Earth, so yeah, we okay. do know, we one know of, about YouTube. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. What do you love on YouTube? 
I like uh, 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 people falling over in various yeah. different situations. If ever I feel slightly down, I can just click one of them and 10 minutes of people falling over. And you, you know Anna's trailer? I've seen The Wicker Man. Yeah. I've seen the, they, they recut The Wicker Man to make it a romantic comedy. Did they? Yeah, it was really good. It's, it's good? like Nick Cage like screaming and running down a hill. It's like, <laughs> you're gonna love Nick Cage in this new movie. <laughs> Is this all just gonna be on YouTube, like yes, it's unedited? It's, 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 of course. <laughs> yes, because uh, I thought you are from Planet Earth. You're so right, yeah. even YouTube uh, have a cunning program. I'm gonna throw this oh, out. Yeah, so, it's so, so you, you good. You really though. believe that everything that's coming out of your mouth and me? No, of course not. Yeah, and then you know that's the thing about YouTube is that people who believe that everything that comes out with their mouths is pure and utter gospel. Absolutely. You know, put it straight on YouTube <laughs> and bore fellow well, citizens <laughs> of planet Earth. Bore but, them to tears. What, what would you do to bore the citizens if you have no YouTube? This. Channel, I right? would do this. <laughs> this. Right. This, exactly. this to bore them all to tears. Yeah. Back, back to the honest trailers. Uh, could you? Uh, uh, could you laugh about it if there was a City of Bones and a totally parody thing? And yeah, I would do it if they'd let me. You know what, as well, I... I if oh, you I, could, I, if I you just could, a marionette? It's just a puppet on a string? Yeah. If you could turn... <laughs> if you could change uh, Mortal Instruments into the porno version okay. of yeah. Mortal Instruments City of Bones. So you would love it. And I think we all know, you know, what the title, what would, the be. title would be. Although it's different here. Yeah, that's like, true, yeah. It's true. <laughs> so maybe you have some it's penis ruin uh, in your face, something like that? I penis ruin, yeah. Penis ruin, of course. Penis ruin on the neck. Robert would have one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe... Uh, I join uh, uh, yes. Down into the mouth. You know what would be amazing for this? Yeah. If we drew a penis ruin on your face. So you, you're gonna paint this? Yeah. Penis that's, on face. No, that's now! Not, that's not... Now! Oh, yeah! I, I, for the interview with Lily. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, Absolutely. Maybe tonight on the red carpet. <laughs> Oh, and then you can that show up be a great idea. the red carpet. I'll do it. I'll do it bring, on your bring, face. Bring a pen, a sharpie. Bring a pen. Alexa has pens. Bring, bring a pen on the red carpet, and I get a, a penis, penis ruin into my face. <laughs> we have a deal. Bring a pen. Bring a pen. Yes. I do it. I can't bring a pen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes. Thank you very amazing. much. So uh, you. you have to go. Yeah. And we see us on the red carpet. Done. Ich krieg einen Penis ins Gesicht. TC wäre neidisch ohne Ende. God bless you too. <laughs> Das war der erste Teil von meinem großen Special zu Chronik in der Unterwelt City of Bones. Ihr solltet den Kanal abonnieren und einen Daumen da lassen, dann könnt ihr mich auch auf jeden Fall den zweiten Teil sehen. Da treffe ich übrigens Lily Collins und Jamie Campbell Bauer und außerdem wird die Frage geklärt, bekomme ich den Penis ins Gesicht oder nicht? Also wir sehen uns bald wieder beim neuen Special von der Filmfabrik.